Are you tired? Try it. You got one song. Oh! It's hot. You got enough to try it. Okay, story time. Ow, I just hit my knee. Story time. So I'm gonna take you guys right up to speed as to what's going on. When I went back home to Minnesota, uh, do I have gunk on my face? I just woke up. It's like, what time is it right now? It's 9.30 in the morning. So when I was back in Minnesota, I went to get new glasses. I went to America's Best, tried on some new frames. So while we're there, I'm like, man, I really want these glasses as soon as possible. So I get the next day delivery so that as soon as the package is shipped to America's Best, they'll ship it to me the next day so I can get them ASAP. Paid a little extra money for it, it's whatever. So I get the call that they're shipping it to my place. I'm like, cool, have it tomorrow. It doesn't come the next day because the next day is the weekend. Uh, so I wait a couple days uh, and then on Monday, I guess they didn't have any way of contacting me to get my package uh, out front of the building because my apartment's in the back and we don't have a buzzer or anything. So they leave a note, they're like, sorry, we missed you, blah, 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 what do you wanna do? I sign it, I'm like, you can just leave it here. I leave a little note, I'm like, my apartment's in the back of the building. If like the front door isn't open to leave the package, just bring it to the back. My apartment's right here. No problems, no worries. So the next day I go to check the mail and they leave another note and they say the same thing, like, sorry, we missed you. And then the person left a thing and it said, we don't go to the back. So they don't go to the back, which uh, if you ask me is a little bit lazy, but whatever. So this time I wrote a big note on it. I'm like, hey, there's no way to buzz me from the front. There's no way to contact me unless you call me on my phone. So what are you doing, bud? Don't you, don't you. Having cats is great. It's great. So I leave a note. I'm like, call me on my number. I got to get the package because when they bring it back for the third time, it's the last time. And if I don't, if I'm not there to grab it, I have to go pick it up from a UPS location. So I left the note, but I've been tracking the package and I've seen that it comes around this time in the morning every day. So I'm going to take my car out to the front of the mailbox and just chill, read a book so I don't miss the package because I'm neurotic. And uh, <laughs> that's what I'm doing today. Uh, in case you're questioning the whole why I'm getting in my car and going out front part, um, I need to be up there so I can see when he comes. And it's kind of cold out and I just want to like have a comfortable place to sit and read and it's just for comfort purposes, so but don't get your panties all in a notch. Don't worry about me. We're gonna, I'm gonna go. So, it worked. I got it. And if I threw any shade at the UPS people earlier, I wanna say sorry now because the guy who dropped out the package who did it the last couple days, super nice. He was super cool about it. I have them, and I'm just like so pumped. I've been waiting for these for a while. I think I finally have glasses that I myself will be like confident wearing, and I'm also excited to like see long distances again. So I'm not even gonna wait any longer. I'm just gonna open this bitch. Like, how do I open it? Oh, there's a front thing. Oh shit, here they are. And they have their own case. Okay, so I got two different kinds of frames because I wanted to be able to switch it up. This is the first pair. Ooh. Then I got this other pair. It's a little different from what I usually do. What's up? I'm Zach, I'm an intellectual. I'm not, it's all a facade. Unleash the beast! Hey! It's Memorial Day weekend. There's a lot more dogs. I'm gonna turn this off so I can actually work. I've risked my life and climbed up to a very tall point to give you guys the awesome bird's eye view of the dog house. Ooh. This is how I get my views with cool aerial shots. I'm like Casey Neistat. Oh, hi. Sorry this framing's really bad and this is like in the way. Um, I couldn't figure out anywhere else to put my camera, so it's literally sitting right here. I gotta have both hands on the wheel, 10 and 2. Um, I'm not very good at transition, so I'm gonna try one right now. I just got off work, and Evan and I are gonna go get some drinks now because it's a beautiful day. Just waiting for Evan so we can go get drinks. The zipper's down. Uh, I'd like to just take a special moment to point out how fucking fresh Evan and I look. I hate vlogging when like people walk by. And there's nothing wrong with it. It's just me personally, I feel really like anxious. Just like people it. are judging me. You just, gotta you just gotta own it. That's the message of this vlog, guys. No bummer summer number two. Just own it. Okay, hi. Um, so I'm sitting here, I'm editing uh, the video right now. So I'm currently working on cutting this bit around where I talk to Evan and ask him questions. And basically the whole thing kind of got ruined. So I'm not really sure what happened, but while we were filming it, I noticed that my camera was being funky. I think it was just really low on memory. It might've been in the sun and getting too hot, but it just like was acting super weird. I thought it ended up being okay. I don't think it was, cause now I'm cutting this together and it just, in random spots in the clip just jumps forward and jumps forward. So um, 
pretty much the whole bit's ruined. So I salvaged what I could of it. It still doesn't really make sense, but the kind of the idea of this bit was just to like ask Evan a bunch of questions so like I could learn more about him and the viewers could learn more about him, but it didn't really work out, so maybe I should just stop putting Evan in my blogs. That's probably what I should do. Sorry, Evan. Hi. So you guys know Evan. This is my buddy Evan. We're out and about in the city of Chicago having a drink. It's noon on a Sunday. This is going to be very shaky because I have the camera sitting on top of a ketchup bottle. So I got a list here of some questions. Just Q&A questions. Nothing crazy. We don't have them memorized. We don't have them memorized because I'm not very good at vlogging. First question. I haven't even previewed these questions. I'm just going to ask them to you. Maybe I'll answer some of them too. Do you just Google uh, questions? Do you sleep with your closet door open or closed? This is actually a cool question. Closed. I sleep with mine open. Why would you do that? Just because I'm lazy and actually, so when I look at my wall, it, that over there where my closet is, it's much more appealing with the closet door open. You can see like more colors and clothes and I like it, it's nice. This room's boring otherwise. My room is pretty boring actually. Just because of the high ceilings, it's like hard to fill up. Do you take shampoo and conditioner bottles from hotels? That's stealing. I normally bring my own. It's a stupid question. <laughs> do you sleep with so your yeah, sheets tucked in or out? I know what you do. What do I do? You don't make your bed. I don't make my bed. I don't sleep with sheets. I just use my comforter. Lately it's been a little too hot, so I've been only using my comforter. Are these cool yet? No. Have you ever peed in the woods? <laughs> Who hasn't peed in the woods? That's a real question. <laughs> Some of these questions are stupid. Oh, can you change the oil in your car? Run. Run as fast as you can. You choked on your hair? Yeah. Are you okay? I'm vlogging. You're on the vlog. <laughs> this is my number one fan, guys. This is, there's a cop right there. There's a cop. This is my number one fan, Kayla, right here. Kayla, what are we about to do right now? We're about to go buy whiskey. We're gonna buy some whiskey. <laughs> oh, I was gonna film us buying the whiskey and stuff and make it cool, but I forgot. So, we got the whiskey and uh, we'll see where the night takes us. I can't. Wait, stop. I can't break the ice cube. Break the ice cube. So we got one ice cube in each. Wow. <laughs> this is how I make a cocktail. Starring Kayla, Mary. I hate you. English. Mary? Sorry. Marine? No. Do you need my help? Yeah. Leave it to a man to do this. Am I right? <laughs> He's a knife. There's a oh. fork. Oh, there wasn't a knife in there. Oh. Do your dishes. <laughs> well done. And then you pour. How much? Uh, I kind of want you to be the judge. I feel like you're Hi. the whiskey queen and... <laughs> oh, that was a lot. That's yours. This one's mine. It has the least. <laughs> whiskey queen drinking the least whiskey. If you look at body mass... Okay, so this is really... your drink. No, this and is Evans, mine. And this is my mine. drink. This is All right, I've got an app idea. So imagine potato skins, but it was also a chicken wing. Is, is... <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. It's the best Fuck app. off. It's the, especially if it was endless. All right, you can you can go ahead and leave now. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Thanks, yeah. guys. Have a good so, night. Yeah. Give me give me a forty grand for fifteen percent. Whoa. Hold on a second. What? Um, You're right. A four, can a you? What are your fifteen percent? What are your sales for this year? Uh oh yeah oh, oh, oh we don't have any sales yet for this year. So you're evaluating your oh, company. And not really sure where this bit's like going. Million. Expected sales for next year are the, the triple because we oh, we triple have zero still zero buddy. Who, who is this guy? Who is this guy in your company? Is he like a part? Is he a partner? Or what? He's my white guy. He's the one that explains like he's he's the face of the he company. He, he gets me in the door. <laughs> We're talking, I use my that, privilege as a lever. Yeah, right? as a <laughs> lever. He's the lever. I yeah. call him Lee. I lead the lever. <laughs> Our expected sales for next year because our our product is also proprietary from the the, well, the part of potatoes. <laughs> we uh, have a patented potato dispensary that even eliminates the uh, the ability for workers, which gives you even higher margins. You're taking our job. You, you take our job. <laughs> Everything you're saying is lowering the amount of money we're about to give you. You know yeah, that. But right? it, but it heightens the amount of money that you would make, bitch. Ask me a question. Um, yes, I do like big titties. Wow. Fuck, you're gonna use that. 